Okay, Welsh Dragon Metals here, back for more electro plating, 22 carat. This time I'll be doing a 20p coin, which has already been plated in copper. You can see that there. And we'll be plating it in 22 carat gold, as I've said. Usual routine. using a clay dish this time as it I've heated it which should help with the speed of the plating As usual, plating takes place at 5 volts. Fairly low milliamps. Not sure exactly what. This may turn out like my previous coin, look more like burnished gold. Well, sort of like a Kruger round, you know, them gold coins with that deer stag thing on the South African bullion. Sort of looks like that colour gold. Sort of looks more like pure gold than 22 carat. Which is okay. Only been a couple of minutes. This can take some time. Seems to be plating very well though. It is quite hot. The conditions are quite good. I've also heated this pen. By leaving it on the on a radiator. The pen is steel so it heats up easily. It's designed like that so you can warm it. The coin has also been warmed. As has the plating solution. Turning out to be more of a brighter gold, this. I reckon after it's polished it'll still look more of a burnished gold similar to the 5p I done previously. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it, see what I mean. I think it's something to do with the alloy the coins are made of. Doesn't seem to want to plate that easily. Not sure why. Move that, sort of hard to see on camera. It's 
better with the white container, is it? Yeah, looks better, easier to see. Not very reflective yet. Some platings go like this. Depends on the alloy or whether it's pure metal plated with enough copper, so on. Temperature got to be correct. Then the voltage may need to be higher. Who knows? I have not tried yet. Nope, it's played in beautifully. Never mind about that. As you can see there, look at that. Whoa. Bright gold. <laughs> Very nice. Pretty. These items ain't worth much, but a 22 karat gold plated coin is probably worth quite a bit more than its face value. This 20p will probably be worth more like 50. Maybe more. Just building up the layers now. This can take quite a few minutes. It's laborious. coin has fallen into the solution. Ah, right. I have to use some glass steering rods to remove that. If I can. Nope, it's not working. Right, I have to very carefully get that with a car. Ooh, I don't want to scratch it. Got it. Yeah. Whew, of course. Scratching it would obviously scratch off the plating in the area that was plating. <laughs> Which would, you know, destroy the work that I have just done. So be careful about that. That's if you're going to try electroplate in yourself. There are small pieces of metal in here. It appears that the voltage has literally destroyed some of the coin. That was sort of exploded off. guess the alloy has been weakened in some way. This coin is from 1998. Oh, wow. I was eight years old. Yeah. Coin is quite aged.
been a good few minutes plating now I'll give it another say five minutes worth of pen plating like this two and a half minutes aside say got a nice thick layer going work on parts with defects like that part that has seemed to have worn off due to the voltage could be the chemical solution though it's very strong cyanide which is what the gold is dissolved in so this has does work I don't advise you expose yourself to much over a long period of time take good lengthy breaks in between platings a few days that way any cyanide that is accumulated in your body will probably be removed mostly As your body will get rid of it. It's very strong, as I said. So, don't spill any. Don't spill the cyanide. <laughs> or the gold. getting very shiny now sort of looks burnished again I think this is going to be very bright. A bit like that bullet that I have previously posted. That bullet pendant. sort of difficult to see in this lighting sometimes that happens you can see there it's quite a shine on that quite nice both sides As I said, it's more burnished gold on these alloy coins. They don't make them of a single metal, so... It makes it more difficult to plate these things. Probably achieve an even thicker layer using some sodium bisulfate. I didn't figure this would need it. As the 5P didn't. Nah, it looks quite nice.
Well, that should be that. I'll give that a rinse. Kind of difficult to see. But there is a nice coating of gold on there. Let's see if I can get it to catch the light. There you go. Doesn't look very golden now, but check the thumbnail so I can get some better lighting on the go. And we'll see what that looks like. Then. Well, till next time.